Yo, what up, everybody? It's your boy, Uncle Jesse, and yes, that's right. You guys, it's time for another break. 2021 Top Something Series Baseball 5-Box Mixer, PYT number 2. We're doing uh, two jumbo boxes and three hobby boxes, all right? Uh, and I got a little bit of a promo going. Every ba uh, every PYT we break, I'm giving away a sealed baseball hobby box. Uh, and you can actually pick your box. I got Mosaic Baseball, Heritage Minor League Baseball, Archives, Clearly Authentic, and Update Hobby Baseball boxes to give away here. Uh, so let's start off with that. Come this way. All right. Uh, let's put the random on the screen. There it is. And let's put the uh, peeps in the break on the screen, too. Boom. Papa John's Papa Diaz of the bump. You know, I've yet to try that. But yeah, I hear I hear they are I hear they are quite tasty. Alright. Speaking of tasty, let's see who's gonna win this sealed hobby box. Everyone in the break is in the giveaway, going 12 times, going to the top name as always. Good luck everybody. Thank you, Isaac. All right, here we go. Going 12 times. Top name wins the baseball box. And the money shot. Boom, 12. Ryan B. Wow. New guy mojo is strong. Congratulations, Ryan. Winning a box. So I do have the list here. I'll drop it again in the chat, Ryan. So you get to pick. Uh, you can pick between a mosaic box, heritage minor league baseball, archives baseball, clearly authentic, or update hobby. Uh, I will be shipping that box to you sealed. Just let me know which box you want, and I'll take care of you, my dude. Put you here in the uh, list here so I know who won that. All right, let me grab the boxes so we can get this done. the hobby All right, good luck, everyone. Start off with this hobby. Uh, RS, you chose update hobby. All right, make a note of that. There you go, Ryan. Congrats, my dude. 
Make sure to tell your friends. Uh, Wolfie, he's probably watching right now. Yeah, Jimmy Butler balling. 30-point triple-double. Very nice. All right. Here we go. Normally, I would pre-sort this, but just way too many cards. Nice Dylan Carlson rookie. Throwback there. Pretty sweet. The foil Bryce Wilson for the Braves. Luckily fell on his back. Sounds good, RS. Thank you, man. Yeah, there's certain breaks that can pre-sort and uh, and get away with it time-wise. Uh, this is not one of them. <laughs> You know, that's why I have a a sorter that I pay so she can take care of that for me. Now, obviously, if I see any variations or short prints, I'll take care of that. Uh, but those are pretty rare, and they're usually backwards, so pretty easy to tell them apart. A foil, Eric Sogar. Chris, if it was a big head, it'd be it look it'd be like this, right? I would open the pack, I'd go through them, and it'd be backwards. Uh, Cass does a little bit of everything around here, to be honest. You know, she wears a lot of hats. Uh, she sorts for me when my sorter is just overwhelmed with work and we got to get this stuff shipped out in a timely fashion. So she only really helps sorting and shipping uh, when my sorter is uh, just got has too much on her plate. So there's that. Everything ships RS. Everything ships. The Heat coming back from a 15-point deficit to win by 15. <laughs> uh, to 2021, Archie Bradley. Man, Pelicans, man. It's got to be tough. Braves and Marlins are going to the same person, so I don't have to random that uh, Jazz Acuna card. Uh, we have Otani and Arihara here, Angels, Rangers. Two different owners, going to have to random that. That is a variation right there. Logan Gilbert, Rookie Mariners. Code 416. And the base set is 395. So there's one variation right there.
Okay, Taylor Trammell rookie insert for the Mariners. All right, either an auto and a relic and hobby. Got a relic, Guerrero Jr. Blue Jays. Has anyone hit one of those uh, bobblehead cards out of update? I think there's only two. One of them being Tatis. No bobbleheads. Gotcha. Four ninety nine. Uh, Jed Lowry A's. That looks really cool with the A colors too. Die cut for Molotov Brewers. Anyone see that new Spider-Man trailer? I know I'm not the only nerd in here. Got uh, two Rocky combos here. Rookie combos to uh, 2021. Yeah, my ex-girlfriend's sister used to work for uh, Disney. And she hated it. Yeah, Wolfie, do what you gotta do, baby. I mean, I'm just make sure you let me know, and then I'll meet you here. If you want to come to Miami, I would say from December to February, probably the best time. That's when the weather is the coolest. That's a nice uh, Guerrero there. Uh, yeah, Disney workers get, uh, they get like discounts and... I think I think they do get like free tickets to the park and stuff, but uh, yeah, she just she just hated working there. She just, according to her, overpaid, uh, overworked and underpaid, and uh, not a good combo. What is this? Platinum player satchel page. I don't think I've seen that before. And it was backwards, so that might be a uh, sharpener of some kind. Well, 
Man, if you work for Disney, too, customer service is like everything. So you're not allowed to tell uh, customers no. That's another thing that she she really didn't like. So you got you got to go like above and beyond for people. Nice to bring here. These black gold looks nice with the pirate colors. Matter of fact. I think I had another one in here. Hellenic. They haven't announced the rookies of the year, have they yet? They just announced like the Cy Young winners. I saw earlier on ESPN. I like it. I like that they wait until after the season's over to announce that stuff. You've gone to the Disneyland in California? Yeah, I haven't been to that one, but I've been to Disney in Orlando and it's I mean, if you're into Disney, cool. Uh, personally, not a big fan. You know, one of my biggest nightmares is, is ending up with someone who's one of those Disney geeks that goes every weekend <coughs> and wears the ears and, oh, it's just... Decorates the house with Disney and just oh good. My ex girlfriend was like that, so she did me a huge favor by breaking up with me. Shouts out to her. <coughs> anyway, sure is her Nationals relic, dude. Everything is pricey at Disney, and try more like ten dollars for that water bottle. I mean, listen, Cheeto, no judgments here, man. It's just not my cup of tea. I, I just, I don't understand how an adult can go to Disney every weekend and have that be their, you know, their version of fun. Again, to each their own, you know, to each their own. I'm just not just not into it. Owen Miller to 2021. Come on with a bobblehead. Oh, yeah, a water bottle at Disney now is probably like $10, $15. Hey, Dylan Carlson, rookie black gold. <coughs> oh, jeez. Let me get some water. Finish that. All right, let me get my drink. Be right back. Oh. <clears throat> 
Do they allow you to bring your own water bottles? No. They allow you to bring in like a like a small bag, but it's gotta be it's gotta be see through. It's gotta be clear, and you can't bring food or water from the outside. Funny, you know what's funny, Cheeto? That's well, I wouldn't do that, but I would. I like to people watch. I'm I'm weird. I like to people watch, and I like to make up stories in my head for those people. You know, so like I'll see a couple having an argument, and I'll just, I'll make up a little story in my head. Another uh, short print right here, baby, for the home team, Jazz Chisholm. Very nice. Kids are stud. Hopefully, uh, Miami doesn't uh, trade them away for kibbles and bits. Yeah, those that's yeah, those those Disney people are super weird. Where they're like, oh it's it's a family vacation and they all they all have like Disney t shirts made. Like, are you are you serious? It's the same shit. You know, it'd be one thing if, if they switched it up every now and then, but no, it's the same crap over and over. Like wh what enjoyment do you get out of this? Whatever. Nice Joey Bart, though. Uh, not an actual autograph, but you can tell your friends it's a, it's a real autograph. Tell them Uncle Jesse said so. Uh, but between me and you, that's not an actual autograph. That's uh, what they call a facsimile. Word of the day. Facsimile. Uh, how do you spell that? F-A-C-S-I-M-I-L-E. Facsimile. I was the spelling bee champ in the fourth grade, so pretty proud of that. The winning word back in the day for your boy was extraterrestrial. Yeah. Speaking of Disney, there's actually a fair uh, coming to town. I think they, I think they open today. Uh, they're usually here for the summer, but because of the pandemic, they pushed it back uh, till uh, till till today. I think it starts. Yeah, like I said, it starts today until uh, I think until the end of December. And I always wondered if that fair, like if they just travel around the country. I think they do. I actually like going to the fair, but not to ride the rides. More so to like people watch and and quite honestly eat the food they have there because it's delicious. Fair food is like top ten. Super bad for you, but damn it, it's delicious. They used to have this burger where instead of bun like bread like like regular bread buns they have uh they replace it with donuts, dude. Oh my god. I never thought a donut burger would be tasty. But man, the saltiness from the cheese and the in the meat and the sweetness of the donut, it's a great combo. It probably took a good 15 years off my lifespan, but damn it, it was worth it. I tried deep fried Oreos for the first time a couple years ago, and that shit was fire, as the kids say. 
Uh, Ryan Mountcastle, the 2021 here, Orioles. Yeah, that's what I did too, Wolfie. I, I like to play the little, uh, they got the little basketball game there. I'll, I'm thinking about going to the fair for my birthday on Saturday. Do that during the day for a few hours and then uh, get chocolate wasted at Winwood later. And then do the same thing Sunday. Just go bar hopping. Chicken and waffle pizza? What? That sounds crazy. And delicious. Where can I sample that? To 300 Ali Sanchez of the Cardinals. That looks just like my boy Marvin. Holy crap. Oh, at the Tampa Bay Fair. I wonder if it's the same fair from Miami. They, they just, again, they just travel the country. Nice Freeman. I got to tell you, not pre-sorting this has been a godsend, to be honest. I'd probably still be on the second hobby box if I was pre-sorting this. No autographs in those hobby boxes. Number relics. Got an Albies here. Chocolate bacon. Whoa. See, that's that's where I draw the line. You know, Doug, that should be one of the commandments that all breakers follow. Now, I usually pre-sort my stuff just to help out my sorter. You know, make her life a little easier. But fuck that. You know, she, she she wants more more hours. Well, <laughs> she gonna get some more time. That's for sure. All right, Taylor Trammell to seventy right here. Very true, Doug. Very true. But you know, there's 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 all kinds of people in this world. And believe it or not, I've received emails in the past. Oh, dude, you know, you go super fast, man. Like, I want to see every single card. Like this. And then, oh, I got to face that. You know, change that up. Change that one, too. Uh, ch change that one, too. Yeah, and then I got to the point where I was like, you know what? Nah, man. Like you said, everything ships, so like, what, 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 what does it matter? Everything's on camera. You could actually slow it down on YouTube. You could slow it to like half speed. So you could see everything if you really wanted to. And yeah, everything ships, so. No worries. Be happy. Appreciate that, Doug. You know what they say? Flattery will get you everywhere. Next up is the jumbo boxes. 
which are way easier to go through. Matter of fact, where is that uh, Stadium Club number two at? Foil Reyes. Brian Hayes. Again, not an actual autograph, but between me and you, you can tell your friends it is. Now, last I checked, Stadium Club down to 10. Would like to see that sold out by the time I uh, am done here. I still got two jumbo boxes to go through. Short print, Roy Campanella, the number to, you yep, know, it's not number, but code 417, that is a short print for the Dodgers, Cheeto reeling in the short prints. Let me see where that uh, stadium club is at. Nine teams left, according to that. It's a super short print, really? Code 417. I think the other one's 416. Yep, it is a super short print. Very nice. Very, very nice. And I still got to open up these silver packs. I'm doing that last. Got them on the side here. Who's Bobby McFerrin? Is that the don't worry, be happy guy? It's, it's, still, it's stuck in my head still. I don't know why I thought about it. But it's there. Don't worry. Be happy. I hope he's doing well. Uh, Walker Bueller, that's a variation of some sort. At the All Star game uh, there. Yeah, just got a different color border, code uh, 925. Relic, well, in this you get uh, one auto and two relics in the jumbo, so. Yeah. <clears throat> Mr. Freeman. I have, oh, nice. Jonathan India, Reds, rookie insert. Uh, anyone hit an autograph out of those silver packs yet? Yeah, it just, it has the blue around it, so I guess that's the variation, the, the border there. I 
not. Yeah, I've only hit like numbered cards in those silver packs. Yeah, hopefully uh, we hit an autograph tonight. Got the gold foil. Zach Dees. Rodriguez. A little old school there for the Mariners. What day? Oh, this one's there. Oh, man. Turning 32 on Saturday. <sighs> Not sure how I feel about that yet. <laughs> hey, nice. Sixto Sanchez, rookie with a gold foil. It's not numbered or nothing, but it's nice. Uh, Dylan Carlson, rookie. Nice uh, variation there. To 299, John Bertie Marlins. Got Oda Rizzi, Astros uh, foil. The Beaver facsimile. a thick one in there. It's a medallion relic. Uh, the gold foil Matt Moore Phillies. The Judge Man with the All-Star Game uh, relic for the Yankees. What's the deal with Trevor Bauer? Is he still dealing with that, uh, that one lady friend of his that liked to be choked? <laughs> really, Mark? Huh, I didn't notice that one. I mean, not that I... Oh, snap, that kind of does look like Jordan Alvarez's autograph. Mark with the hashtag knowledge. Hope you're doing well, Mark. Always nice to see you in the chat. Uh, to 2021, Brian O'Grady for the Padres. The Foil Wilson Braves. The facsimile, Kebron Hayes, a Mercedes White Sox rookie insert, that. <laughs> Uh, 
I like Manoa. What team is that, Manoa? Let's see if I can uh, picture it. Manoa, I think that's Blue Jays. Yeah, that's right. Trout, black, gold. Still haven't hit the autograph out of this box. <laughs> Gotta be lurking somewhere. Oh, damn. A Bo Jackson. And that is a short print for the Royals. There you go, Derek. Die cut, Yogi Berra. Uh, Chris Gittins. Hey, there's the autograph. Uh, Yankees rookie gold foil. Autograph is Mr. Dale Murphy. On card auto. Number to 50 for the Braves. There you go, Cheeto. And these old school dudes know how to sign a card, I'll tell you that. A lot of these newer guys have terrible signatures. You can tell he practiced. Come on, Castle. Do, do they do they not teach cursive in school anymore? I learned cursive in like the third grade. To twenty twenty one, Zach Davies. I get a coal black gold. All right, that's it for that jumbo box. Got one more to do. Uh, but before I do that, I need top loaders. So I'm going to go grab some. Be right back. Wait, so you're telling me the kids in elementary 
have laptops in class now? I mean, I know they were doing that with the whole pandemic deal. But is that like a standard now? Now, I remember I had a I had a typewriter back in the day. And I used to use that thing to make uh to do, you know, whatever reports I had to do in elementary. And by the time I was in the fifth grade, that's when we got like our first computer. But uh, man, I was I was using a typewriter the whole the whole shebang. I had to slide that thing. I could make sure I couldn't make any mistakes. Wish we kept that typewriter. That thing that would have been awesome to just have on display today. All right, last box mojo here. Need a dinger. Uh, that would be a dinger. A Derek Jeter. Short print for the Yankees. Not bad. Man, Cheeto taking all of the uh, variations. Perdomo, d rookie insert. Oh, Mark, man, happy belated birthday. And thank you, thank you. Have you, uh, did you do anything uh, for your birthday? Yeah, I'm turning 32. It's just, it's just weird because in my head, I'm like 15 years old, so... <laughs> Mateo for the rookie gold foil. Uh, Dylan Carlson, rookie black gold. Had dinner with the family on Sunday. Nice. And we got Thanksgiving coming up next week. Ooh! The best time of the year. To twenty twenty one, we got uh, Brock Holt. We got a central page die cut. So wait a minute. So what's the difference between that satchel page and the other one I hit earlier that I thought was a variation of some kind? Did I not top load it? Yeah, there it is. Ah, okay. It's got the blue on there. Not numbered, but duly noted. Duly noted. We're moving along. I'm glad they made the variations a lot easier to see. Otherwise, it'd be a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, that is that is a thing. Luke Jackson, gold foil. Got an autograph for J.B. Bukowskis. D-backs rookie. There you go, Doug. Got an autograph. 
Speaking of autographs, the facsimile auto here, Bart. <laughs> oh damn so my oh i get it now so i was probably a valentine's baby i mean i'm not gonna ask my mom or dad the, the point is i'm here <laughs> kai tom said 2021 mr hayes rookie black gold Yeah, Cheeto, it took way too long. No, because you know what? I was thinking about my ex and how I asked her to be my girlfriend on Valentine's Day. So imme that's like that was where my immediately like my first thought. And then my second thought was fuck that bitch. So after I was done thinking about all that crap, then I you know, then I came to the realization that oh, it takes nine months to make a baby. Oh, I was probably a you know a love child of some uh, you know Valentine's Day sexy time. I'm glad my pops got some on Valentine's Day. Shoot, uh, Carlos Rodon, the twenty five relic white socks. Nice bomb. I mean, whatever nice was to make. This is pretty cool. I love Griffey, but he should have never went to Cincinnati. Gold foil, Chris Owings, a little Nolan Ryan, almost there, almost there. Number to 70, Hirozaku Sawamura, uh, Red Sox rookie. A foil Gibson, nice Lindor insert. Uh, Jimmy Lampert, gold foil white socks, relic for Corbin uh, Burns, Brewers.
think I might order me some chicken wings. Shout out to Uber Eats. Whoever invented that, genius. You know, it was funny growing up. Oh, dude, don't get into cars with strangers. Now there's a literal app that will bring a stranger to your location and supposedly take you wherever you want for a fee. You know, now it'll probably be like, oh, you know, don't get in that stranger's car unless they have that verification blue check on their Twitter. All right, pretty cool card here. And I know Beasts, uh, thankfully going to the same person. Braves Marlins owned by the same dude. Number to 76. Very nice. All right, a Pache rookie. Wrapping up here. Still got the silver pack. But that's going to do it for the uh, jumbo and hobby boxes. All right. So thankfully. All right. Well, I can give uh, at least two to each. Let me do a super fast random for this. I'm going to roll a die. If I get an odd number, the third card will go to the left team, even number right. So odd left, even right. Here's my die. Let's go. Odd, number one. So it'll go to the left side. So I'll give three of these to the Angels and the other two to the Rangers. So, Angels, and this one's Rangers. Boom, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, now that that's out the way, let's uh, do the silver packs. Let's start with these uh, high-tech packs from the jumbo box. Sis. We got a Soto. And we have a Kalinic. All right. Open up the second one. Oh, there's three in this one. We got Betts. Mr. Hayes. Rookie Pirates. And Kershaw. Now for the other. Got a Arenado. Griffey Jr. for the Reds. Ramirez Red Sox. Very nice one here. Jonathan India, rookie Reds, very nice. Mercedes rookie, White Sox, a 
Acuna Matata. Mr. Ryu. Ah, there's a little color. And it's a rookie. Very nice. Cabrian Hayes. Rookie Pirates. That is numbered to 150. Decent. Got a Lindor. A rookie Kirilov. A rookie, a Hirozaku, I'm sorry, Hiro, Hi, Hirokazu Sawamura. I think I'm running out of sleeves. Got Ortiz, yeah. Gotta get some more. Devon rookie The Judgment My Guy Jazz Marlon's rookie Would have been nice if it was number though. Alright, let me go grab some so Let's keep it going. A little color back there. Rookie Manoa Blue Jays. Yelich. Mr. Hayes. Rookie Pirates. Aaron Judge, Yankees Green, which is two ninety nine. Hmm. Interesting. Go with a tight fit. I'm gonna hit an autograph out of one of these. Got the India rookie. Got Kraut. Baez. Got a bomb action here. And the last silver pack mojo. Good luck, everyone, especially those without a hit. Got a Hoskins, Murphy, Logan Gilbert, Mariner's rookie, and a Trevor Bauer. So the hunt for an auto out of those silver packs still uh, underway. But that is the break. So quick uh, recap here. Uh, out of the silver packs. You know, here's what we got. Some of them anyway. Right? Then we got high tech action from the 
I believe these were in the jumbos, right? But, uh, let's get on to the good stuff here. Got two colors on there, not too bad. So, to start the recap here, we got some relics. Got uh, Guerrero Jr., Scherzer, Albies, Olsen, Judge, the Rodon to 25, and uh, Corbin Burns. All right, RS, have a good night, man. Thank you for tuning in. I'll be back tomorrow. Hopefully, see you then, too, man. Now, these are numbered, so we got the Gilbert to 499, Mountcastle to 2021, Sanchez to 300, Trammell to 70, uh, the Bueller All Star game, but the blue variation on that, that's not numbered. Uh, Bertie 299, Sawamura to 70, the NL Beast 76, Cabrian Hayes to 150, and the Aaron Judge to 99. Variations, we got Logan Gilbert, Jazz Chisholm, Bo Jackson, and Derek Jeter all have the code 416 on the back, so you know it's a short print. And the Roy Campanella here is a 417 code, which means it's a super short print. Very nice. And autographs. We've got Dale Murphy of the Braves to 50 and J.B. Bukowskis for the D-backs. Congrats to uh, Ryan who won the update hobby box. And that is the break. Thank you all. I'll get it out to you.